Okay, we're going to look at how to share uh, files and continents in Android, uh, specifically with the latest version. So in this case, my app is targeting uh, SDK 26. And in this case, we're going to have to use this new thing called file providers. If you're going to be targeting those SDKs, you're going to have to implement this. And what file provider does is will grant other applications temporarily access to be able to access those files when we're sharing it. So, uh, before we get started, this code will be available on GitHub, so you don't have to type it as you're watching this video. Uh, so I will put a link in the description. Now the project itself uh, divided into three simple um, steps. Uh, one is that we're just gonna be sharing a text, and the other one is sharing a single binary continent, or multiple of them. And in this case, the binary continents are photos. So to be able to implement file providers, you're going to need to have three things. You're going to need to be able to have uh, the manifest and a provider path and to be able to get the universal, uh, universal resource identifier of the file on the phone. So let's get started. The first step is to have a provider tag in your manifest. Um, so everything is pretty much going to be static project to project. The only thing you, you're going to be, need to be worrying about is authorities. And this tag, this string needs to be quite unique actually because they, it will cause complications if it is similar to other apps. So the recommendation is to just use your package domain, which, we, which is going to be pretty safe. And we're going to be granting URL permissions to so make sure that is true as well. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the pro file provider the path, the files, the path that we have access that we will be granting permission to. So this is what the metadata is. Um, the name will be the same. Now, the other thing that is corresponding to it is the provider path. And this is going to be an XML file, which I've already created. Uh, but if we do not have this, you need to make sure to create it. So make sure this is on Android. And if it is, go ahead. Let me collapse everything and start from the beginning. So this is on Android. You're going to go on app. You're going to go on resources. If you do not see XML here, go on resources, new directory. And then you type XML and that will create the directory. I already have it, so I will cancel this. Uh, if you didn't have it, it will pop up. If you already have it, great. Go ahead, file new XML resource, and that will create it for us. Um, just give it a name and make sure it is the same name you have here. So there is the XML file. A um, couple of things you need to be worried about. Uh, the first one that you don't need to is the name, and that is just a placeholder, I believe. The documentation said it is a URI path segment and it is just to um, hide the path that you're sharing. So by any chance, this could be anything that you want. It does not matter. But two things that you do need to worry about is this tag and the path. And that just depends on the type of project you're working on. So in my case, I'm using external path because I'm using this environment function. You could be using something else. If you are, you're going to have to make sure the tag is corresponding to what you have. And there's, I believe, five options. Yep. So make sure you have the right one. That goes with the tag right there. So if you're using a different one, just replace what I have in my code. And the path. This path just depends on the directory you're going to be sharing. So if it's a directory called images, you're going to be putting that. But in my case, I just said a dot, which means pretty much everything. And that's about it for that. So as I mentioned, you're going to need to have three things, the manifest, this XML file, and one more thing to be able to get the file um, to be able to access it for the URI. But before we do that, let me quickly go over sharing text, uh, which will be helpful when we're going to be sharing the photo. We're going to be using intent. We're always going to be doing that when we're going to do an operation on Android. 
and the action is going to be send because we're going to be telling it that we're going to be sharing a um, some sort of value in this case it's going to be a text plane so the action is to send something and the type is just a text and the value we're going to be sharing it's going to be put extra um, is a static text that i've just created so we're going to start the activity using the intent and i'm going to click on the text which means on share text will get called and this is what we have so i'll just do like gmail and there's a text this is a text i'm sharing woohoo we got that to work sweet and easy uh i'm gonna quickly go over create chooser uh if you don't do create chooser i'm gonna recompile the user will have the option to choose a default application right so this looks a bit different but notice that here we're gonna have just once or always so every time they're gonna be clicking on that text in this case gmail will always open whether this is appropriate or not depends on your application but i'm gonna go ahead and undo that great let's share a photo now and in this case we do need a file provider we did not need that for the text but we need it here so we're going to be doing it from method called get uri for file that is the function we're going to be using do not use other functions such as uri.parse because this function only takes a string where this one also takes an authority you remember that text that i talked about in the manifest that's right this text right here will need to be inside this method if I use a different one, you will not be able to get grant the temporary access. Other things that you need besides the authority is the context. So you're just going to be doing this, for example, if you're in an activity. Um, and then you also need the file. So the file you're going to be sharing. I have created the path. So I use drawables that I have. I see Android white, green, and red. And these are the files that I have. So I basically use the drawables in the project and I save it on the SD card of the phone previously. And I save all the paths inside my class members. So that's what it does basically, just sort of a background. That's what this is. This is just the path of the file. And I use the path to create my file. So I'm giving the file, I'm giving the authority, I'm giving the context, and I'm saying, give me the path of the file, the universal resource identifier we're going to be using an intent again we'll always be doing that again we're going to be sharing something so it's going to be action send notice i have a text that's fine you could have multiple put extra it doesn't have to be one thing of one type it could be different ones so in this case i'm sharing a text as well and i'm adding an extra one this came it's our image so the path it's going to be an extra stream and the path which we have, it's going to be of type URI. We also need to add a flag to tell the intent that we will be granting the temporary access. The type is the same as we had last time, except it's not a text anymore, it's an image. If you want to be more specific, you could say I'm sharing only JPEG or I'm sharing only PNG. But if you put a star, it means I'm going to be sharing images of all types. So I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to share binary constant and we'll just share it on uh, Gmail again. Yep, there's our text. This is one image I'm sharing. This is one image I'm sharing. And that's our IC Android green. So it looks like Gmail was able to successfully access it and we were able to successfully share it with it. Multiple photos will be quite similar, uh, very similar actually. The only difference is, is that we're gonna have an array of URIs, right? So I'm having an array list of them instead of just having a single one. But I'm using the same exact method. I'm using the same exact one, same exact uh, file authority, just different files though. One of them is white, one of them is green, and one of them is red. I'm adding all of that into the photos array. I'm storing the intent again. The action send is going to be multiple this time. So I'm going to have to use that one um, since we're going to be sending multiple of the images. Sharing the text again. 
this one is this multiple images I'm sharing and instead of saying put extra we need to say put array list extra because we're going to be sharing an array of them the set type in this case is also um, image of any type if you are having certain issues in this case for example I'm sharing an image that's going to be stored as a JPEG make sure you're also putting the set type correctly so don't put this on a PNG you may have certain problems arise um, so make sure the type and the type of constant that you're sharing is correct we're going to be adding the flag just like last time and we're ready to start the activity going to be sharing multiple times with gmail again and there is our text this multiple images i'm sharing and hold and behold there is our three images and we use the correct way using file provider so this will work with the latest versions of android and i'm going to go ahead and discard that so a bit of an overview on uh, what we discussed is that three different things you need to watch out for in general uh, the first thing was what we had in our manifest uh, so make sure the provider tag is up there and make sure you make note of your authority tag and you also need to create the xml as i discussed uh, so make sure it is in the correct directory xml and you name it whatever you would like but make sure it's the same thing here and the provider so second thing right first thing is that second thing is the xml um, what you need to watch out for is the tag that is here and the path the path is the directory so if you want to be more specific such as your images directory your videos directory this is what you declare you just leave it out if you'd like everything to be included the path itself as i discussed depends on your project so make sure you're looking at it that um, i will include the link to this as well but make sure you're choosing one of the five that corresponds to your project so first one second one third one the third one was to make sure you're using the correct method file provider dot get uri for file this is the only function that will work other ones such as uri that parse that also gives you uri does not work do not use that one because you need string authority okay so that's what it is you provide the tag you give the path and you also get the uri correctly and that uri will give the uh, temporary access while passed to their intent. Okay? Good luck with your projects.